What's up guys? It is uh, Monday, June 7th, and I got my day off for the week, and I'm out trout fishing. It's about 5.45 right now in the morning. Nothing specific really going on today. I got some streamers that I want to try out that I've tied. Um, other than that, it's really, really hot, so I'm out here super early to uh, try to avoid harming the fish and whatnot, but looks pretty good, so uh, let's quit the jibber-jabber and uh, get after. All right, so... <clears throat> Just coming up to this stream here. This is uh, kind of what I got tied up last night, one of them, that I uh, just wanted to give a go here. It's just a, it's an olive uh, rabbit zonker. It's got some gold flash and some uh, rubber legs and whatnot in there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a go and uh, hopefully we can put some good fish in the bag today. Are you kidding me? Second cast. Whew. Water is chilly this morning. I honestly wasn't planning on getting in the water until <laughs> a little bit later when it warmed up a little bit, but I did not want to lose that guy right away since I've been here. Guess we can make a few casts of this. There we go. First one of the day. Finally. I probably fished for, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes before even getting that first bite that I just got that cast before. Not a bad one. Not bad at all. I would say probably 12 inches. We'll go with 12. Get this guy unhooked. Not a bad one. Here we go. First one of the day. Hopefully that warrants many more. Well guys, I turned my camera off to uh, use the bathroom, switched my lures, and I turned on, put on a black fix. But once again, a new species, a driftless stream. Nothing big, but hey, small mouth. <laughs> Look at that little guy. <laughs> if I could get smallies in here, that'd be sweet. So as you guys saw, I got the uh, black fix on now. Um, this water is a little more stained, I guess you would say. And uh, the olive zonker just wasn't getting it done. So uh, I'm gonna give the good old turkey marabou fix a go because that usually works. I thought I was on a rock. Damn. That's the fish I was looking for. That was probably 14, 15. And not the fish I was looking for, but the kind type of fish I was looking for. You get what I'm getting at. Damn. Fish are stubborn today, man. The 
This is a new section of stream for me, but I've been hitting, some, finding some pretty good spots and some pretty good holes. Here we go. Yeah, there's a nice one. Oh, here we go. Just as I was saying that. Oh man. Huh. Come here. Oh. He has got that jig absolutely inhaled. Just inhaled. It's a decent fish. Um, I do want to get a tape on this just to see what it is. I don't think it's absolutely massive. Probably, I don't know, 15? Probably about the same size as the one that I lost earlier. She came out to uh, 14 on the dot, but that is a dandy, dandy brown. Whoa, whoa, Dang. Not the release I wanted to get, but... Finally, been fishing for about an hour and a half now, and that's only my second, or actually it's my third fish I've caught. Missed the other one that jumped out of the water. Otherwise, that's all I've been doing for today. It's hasn't been outstanding, but that definitely, that definitely um, uh, helps. Funny that happened right as I was saying that I wasn't catching shit. Maybe I gotta talk more shit about myself and I'll catch more fish. There we go. Oh, yeah. Get out of the water there, bud. Just a little guy here, but he hit as soon as that thing hit the water, pretty much. I thought it was bouncing off a rock and then saw my line take off a little bit. Nothing big, nothing big, but another good, good driftless trout, man. I love doing this shit. Being out here, by yourself, you know, you're, or you're with somebody fishing. Nothing's bothering you. Birds are just squawking like crazy. It's awesome being out here. I love it. Regardless of the, obviously catching fish makes it a lot more enjoyable, but. Oh, just had another whack. Just being out here in general is awesome. Oh, I just had another one. Jeez, there must be a rock or something there sitting behind there. That's right where I caught that first one. Onward. There we go. Oh, as soon as they hit the water, I saw them come out and smoke it. <laughs> that was sweet. Not a big one again. But man, these trout like this turkey marabou. Not a bad fruit. Got that turkey marabou jammed in his mouth. Nice trout, nice trout. Here you go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Right there in about, I don't know, a foot of water. I mean, as you can see, I, I didn't make a very, very long cast. Kind of just had to get sideways underneath that branch up this chute there. See, and sometimes you can't really get it where you want it. But that's exactly where that guy came out of. Another one chasing it. Still chasing it. Oh, these little guys are hungry. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't a bad one. Oh. He took my jig. My loop knot did not break. There just must have been a little bit of gap in that jig head. And he took it. You gotta be kidding me. Now I got time on my last turkey marabou jig that I got. I mean, I can go home and make more, but I only got one more for today now. And that seems, this year I started doing that and it seems to be the key. It is what works the best. Why? I don't know if it's the color, the white tips in the marabou or what, but. I got a new one tied on here. Let's see if we can get right back in there. And get another one. They've been in the faster stuff, I've noticed. I just had a swipe. Here we go. That's not a bad one. Here we go. Heck yeah. Oh, come over here. Come over here. It's a fatty. Oh. Dang. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. That is a brutonymous. I'll come over here by the bank a little bit more. Jeez. That was right where you saw that fish kind of bust me off there. That is nice. Nice brown. If I would have guessed, I'd probably say 14. Same as the other one, but this one, this guy is just so much more thick. Oh. That's shallow water. I did not suspect him to be in that shallow water. Huh? It's a beautiful trout. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. <laughs> right after I broke that off, threw it right back up in there. These, I don't know what these conditions are. I don't know if it's the trees overhanging or what, but there is something here that they like. Cause it's, it's been every time, as soon as that, as that fix hits the water, whap. Man, oh man, this is what I'm talking about. Well, hey guys, so I'm um, just finishing up here. Um, after you guys did see that last fish I caught, I did go to a different section of that same stream. Uh, walked like a, a half mile probably. Um, did not catch anything. Uh, I don't even know if I really had any bites. But uh, at the end there, I kind of threw on an ultra like hopper uh, just for the hell of it and try it out because I've always wanted to. And uh, I ended up getting two pretty big boils. Um, never did catch anything, but uh, it's 10 o'clock and it's already 85 degrees outside. So I'll, I'm done, I'm going home. Um, but I hope you guys kind of uh, see in this video that uh, to target these trout on these uh, hotter days like this, you gotta be out, be out in the morning, be out at night, and uh, try to figure out where they're staying cool and staying out of the sun, because they don't like the heat just like we don't. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.